Hey everybody, this is John Stoffer here to bring you a little tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today I want to talk about the Toolpath Fillet feature that's available in the 3D toolpaths. Let's take a look at this part as an example. If I turn off the toolpaths, you'll see that we've got some surfaces that come down to some interior square or sharp edges. They're not quite square, this has actually got a bit of a draft to it. In any case, when we make this, we actually want to put a little bit of fillet on this according to the engineer. It's just not drawn in. So how do we do that? Well, you could model it in, but if you don't have the ability to model it in, or if you're not allowed to change the models, then you're going to have to use a toolpath fillet. To explain toolpath fillet, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we don't use it, and then what it looks like when we do use it. This first group of toolpaths does not have a fillet. Let's see how this looks in Verify. I'm going to run through these operations, and I have color loop turned on so we can see what each tool does. So if we look down here, we'll see that at the bottom, the roughing tool in yellow overcut into this corner a little bit, and then the finishing tool was not able to cut all the way down. That's because our roughing tool is sharp and our finishing tool is a ball end mill. So it wasn't able to clean everything up correctly. Now let's take a look at what this looks like if we use the toolpath fillet feature. In these operations, under our parameters, if we go to the arc filter tolerance and then open up the sub menu for toolpath fillet, we can turn it on right here. I'm going to use a simple fillet radius of 0.1875 or 3 16 You can also use the tool shape fillet option, but we're not going to cover that in this video. I have that set the same way in both of my toolpaths. You can see visually as I scroll down here that you can actually see the toolpath lines moving away from the wall of the part as it moves down, right about in this section here. Let's take a look at those two toolpaths in Verify. Now we'll fast forward through the operations. And there's our finished part. You'll see that we no longer have any yellow lines here because the toolpath for the rougher was leaving more material in that fillet so that the ball end mill could come down and finish its job. So that's one way that you can apply your toolpath fillet feature in Mastercam. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But more importantly, if you're looking for high quality Mastercam training content like this, head over to streamingteacher.com.